Hi, I'm Paula from MeMakeyThings.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a felt applique stocking. So the first thing you need is a stocking and you can make a pattern by tracing one that you already have or you can look uh, for a, templo a template to download off the internet. So I have a pattern here and I have traced this on freezer paper which is uh, kind of shiny on one side. It has kind of a plasticky coating and just paper on the other side and that is just this freezer paper that you would get at your grocery store and what you do is you take your piece of felt and you lay this on top of it with the shiny side down and you take a hot iron and iron over it just like you were doing an iron on patch of some sort and the plastic will melt just enough to stick down to the felt and then it makes it very easy to cut around. There's no sliding and there's no uh, lumpy bumpy parts from where you put uh, the, the pins in or anything. So that's how you get your stocking shape. And then I have done, I have a, a stocking cut out right here. And what I want to applique onto it is a snowman. And you can look for a pattern on the internet or coloring sheets is a, another, uh, uh, option for some uh, simple graphic images is things out of coloring coloring books or coloring sheets you can download off the internet. I just drew a little snowman freehand and it's a pretty simple shape so I was pretty comfortable with just freehand designing that. So what you want to do is for each um, color that you're going to have in your applique I'm going to have a white snowman and a red scarf so you'd want to trace those separately onto your freezer paper. Uh, and then this part right here, I'm gonna do with uh, embroidery floss. So uh, anyways, after, uh, or here is a snowman that I've already cut out. So there is the snowman and there is his little scarf. So the order that you would do this is uh, before you sew your, your uh, stocking together, you wanna to, uh, put your applique on. So the first thing that you would do is your uh, embroidery to do the little face and then you would sew on the snowman and then you would put the scarf on top of it like that. So I'm going to show you a common stitch that's used to do applique and that is the blanket stitch. Now I'm just going to take a, p a couple pins here pin him down so he doesn't move on me. You also can use glue gun to put a project like this together. Uh, hot glue works very well on felt. It's not quite as pretty and elaborate and decorative as the stitching, but the stitching does take a long time to complete. So what you want to do is come up through the back here. And then you're just gonna go over a stitch like that and come up through the back like that and go underneath and pull it. And then you just go over from where your thread came out the bottom here. And you wanna come back up the other, right on the outer edge of your snowman there. I'm already kind of coming underneath my thread there. See how I'm going under and then I'm coming back in from the other side there, making sure that my thread, see, I'm making sure that I go underneath that thread. And just continue on around and I am applying the, the applique to the fabric. And that is how you would uh, adhere that to the fabric. So when you're done then with that part, then you would just go around the whole outer edge of the stocking and add your little fleece or uh, felt top to that. Um, when you're done, this is what it would look like. And I just used embroidery floss to do the face and sewed on a few buttons there and added some little uh, extra decorative stitches to the scarf 
And with these projects, sometimes the more detail that you add, the more um, interesting the, the final design is. But that is how you applique a felt stocking. This is Paula from MeMakeyThings.com. Have a great day.